This is question number 40. It says the table gives information about the temperature T degrees C at noon in a town for 50 days. In part A for one mark, we're asked to write down the modal class interval. The modal class interval is the one with the highest frequency. It's going to be this one just here. So we can write down now that T will be greater than 20, yet in turn less than or equal to 24. Don't fall into a trap of writing 21. That now is the modal class right there. Okay, in part B for four marks, we need to calculate an estimate for the mean temperature. So this is group data, and what I'm going to do is create two more tables on my table just here. I'm going to have now the midpoint and then the frequency times by the midpoint. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're looking now for the midpoint, and just moving this in slightly to give myself some room, we're looking for the midpoint of each class. The midpoint here, and just write in M, that's going to be 10. The midpoint here is going to be 14. The midpoint will be 18, 22, and then we're going to have 26. We now do the frequency times the midpoint. We're going to have now 6 times by 10, so 6 times by 10, that gives me 60. We're going to have 8 times by 14, so 8 times by 14, which is going to give us now 112. We've got 13 times by 18, which is going to give me in total 234. So 13 times by 18, that's going to give me 234. We've got 21 times by 22, and that's going to give me 462. So 21 times by 22 is going to give me 462. And then 2 times by 26, that's going to give me 52. We need to now sum the frequency times the midpoint, and I'm just going to use the sigma sign. The sum is all of these numbers added up. We're then going to take the sum of the frequency and we're going to go ahead and simply divide. Now we know that the sum of the frequency is 50, as we're told it's for 50 days. So let's go ahead and just add these up and being slightly lazy in a calculator, we're going to have 60 plus 112 plus 234 plus 462 plus 52 that gives me now 920, so we can write now 920. So an estimate for the mean is going to be, now estimate, let's just write this here, estimate mean is going to be 920 divided by 50. Pop them up for a calculator, we can get the value. So dividing our answer by 50, that gives us now 18.4. So 18.4, and just jotting this down, 18.4 seems fairly logical. So writing that in here, we've got the degrees here, so 18.4 degrees, and that's an estimate. Okay, in part C it says draw a frequency polygon for the information in the table. This part carries two marks. Frequency polygons are plotted at midpoints. So if I look then on the first one, I've got 8 to 12, so my midpoint is going to be 10, and the frequency is going to be 6. So let's go ahead and locate that. So that now is 10, 6. Just be careful. We can see now that 2 blocks is equal to 1. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's go ahead now and do the next one. Uh, we want our, on the next one, uh, the midpoint we see is 14 and 8. So 14, 8. So let's locate 14. There's 14. So we've got now the midpoint is going to be 14 and just get the correct point. And then 8 is going to be just here. This is only as good as my eyesight. So if I get it slightly wrong, I do apologise. That looks pretty good. OK, let's now look at the next one. Midpoint is 18 and 13. So we want to locate 18 and 13. So that looks to be 12 and a half. That looks to be 13. And that's bang on 18. OK, next one, uh, 22. So we've got a midpoint of 22 and a value of 21. So 22, 21, well, that's going to be just there, 22, 21. So let's put that there. 
And now we take the final one, 26 and 2. So let's find 26. 26 is just here, and that's going to be 2. So hopefully they're all in the right place. All we now do is connect these up. Frequency polygons are plotted at midpoints. It's a straight line like so, and we just connect them like that. And that now gives us our final polygon. Let's just make that slightly neater. And it'll look something give or take like so. So there we go. Two marks now for the last part of the question.